Let's talk about CSS frameworks. Christmas are just around the corner and I have a gift for you! At Duomly we decided to create a special promo code which gives you 80% off for our lifetime premium account. How you can use it? Under this video I will place the promo link. It's enough if you will click the link and buy the lifetime account. If you don't want to learn programming and maybe you know someone else who would like to use this kind of promo code, share this video or the link below the video with your friends. Now let's go to our main subject, CSS frameworks. Today I would like to talk with you about CSS frameworks. As a front-end developer, I mostly pay attention to frameworks like React, Angular or Vue, the front-end frameworks. But we sometimes forget about CSS frameworks, which are crazy important and can save a lot of work for us. This is why some time ago I decided to write an article about CSS frameworks, list them and compare a little bit, show their advantages and disadvantages, also, I decided to do this video and tell you about the things I found doing this article. Let's start! Okay, so the first one on my list probably won't surprise you, it will be Bootstrap. And Bootstrap is crazy popular. Probably most of you have heard about Bootstrap already or used Bootstrap. I think it came from the idea that it was the first CSS framework that started to use this idea of mobile first. Bootstrap is fully responsive these days. Bootstrap also offers a lot of ready components which you can use like buttons, tables, jumbotron and also a great grid. Uh, the fourth version of Bootstrap is based on the Flexbox, so it's, it's, it's catching the times. And what's more, Bootstrap has a great documentation, which is very useful for those who doesn't know Bootstrap yet. And there are a lot of courses like free and paid, where you can learn how to use this CSS framework. It's very easy in implementation, so even junior developers shouldn't have any problem to start working with Bootstrap. UI semantic. They say about the framework on the website that they try to build something what will be fully human readable and human friendly. And this is exactly how it works. For example, if you want to create an image using a UI semantic, it's enough to put UI image. If you want to make a small image, you just add the word small to the classes. So it sounds like it's pretty easy and very understandable. And yeah, this is the, the great advantage of Semantic UI. Also, it's fully responsive and they offer a lot of ready components which will make the work much, much easier. And the design of this component is really, really very pretty. It's nothing outstanding, but it can be used without any changes. Now CSS framework, they have a huge documentation and also they have courses, tutorials and even certification. Uh, besides this, inside the documentation they have a video to each type of components, so it's pretty cool if you are a newbie and you really want to learn foundation, they, they give you all the sources which you need. Besides that, they have a lot of components, 
then it's pretty pretty good I would say that if you like how this framework works then it's a really good choice it's also fully responsive so why not to use it Point four on my list is a big discovery for me. It's kind of a new framework. It's Bulma. When I was writing the article, I was doing some research and that's how I found the Bulma. It's, it is great, according to my opinion. It's very simple, very easy to use. It's modular, so we can implement only those parts which we really need. Besides that, it's crazy easy to use, like I will show you the piece of code with simple grid with columns and it's just adding another div with class column, that's it. Such simple. Another thing is that it's pure CSS framework, so no JavaScript to use it is necessary here. So if you're looking for this kind of CSS framework, then I truly recommend you to try Bulma because it seems to be a really really great one which can grow for something like bootstrap or maybe even bigger. I strongly believe that Bulma has a huge potential, especially that they have a yet small community but very very passionate about this framework. on my list and it's another discovery for me it's Tailwind CSS and this framework is a little bit special because it's more focused on utility classes and customization than giving us a ready built components the disadvantage of this kind of approach can be that code doesn't look very pretty let's take a look at the piece of code from their website and it is a little bit messy but it allows to create everything they give us like building blocks to create components, not a ready component. So if you like to play in this kind of coding, try it. I think it's it can be something fun and it can be something new. What more about Tailwind CSS? It's fully responsive and it's also easy to use with Webpack because we can install it using npm or yarn. So it's pretty cool for front-end developers. And the last sixth point on my list is something what made me like whoa when I saw this. It's UIKit. UIKit has also version UIKit 2, but I will be more focusing on UIKit 1 because this is the one I was wrote article about and this is the one that I checked most. And the big advantage of this framework for me is that it's really really beautiful. There is a lot of white spaces which makes it clean, modern and which gives this feeling of a little bit more luxury design, I would say. Also, it's fully responsive. It has a huge amount of ready components, like let's, let's check it. Yeah, they have like buttons, animations, alerts, models, pop-ups, tooltips, a lot of this. And they also have uh, icons which we can use and we don't have to look for anything from outside. So this is the one I really want to try in my next project because I just fall in love in how it looks like. This is my list of CSS frameworks which I want to try or I was working with. And if I missed something very nice which you are using, please let me know in the comments, share your opinion, which one you like, why which one you would like to try and why, and I hope it's somehow useful for you. For today, that's everything. If you like this video, please leave me a thumb up, subscribe our channel and leave a comment. Also, don't forget to share this video to share the promo code with others. And I hope to see you in the next video. Bye!